All right, so connecting wirelessly uh, via the network. Okay, again, uh, no USB cords are needed. Uh, the concept behind this is uh, your computer is uh, connected to your home internet, uh, your, your home Wi-Fi. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect your cutter to your home network. And your computer then can see the cutter on the network and utilize it as a wireless uh, access point there for us. Okay, so uh, you know, think of this as if uh, a relative came over and said, hey, uh, what's your internet password so I can get on the network? That's essentially what we're trying to do with with this. Okay, so the computer has to be on the same network as the uh, as the SkyCut. Okay, so let's go ahead take a look what we have here. So uh, we have the main control panel. Obviously, you're going to have to turn everything on here. And the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into the settings. Okay, so we click on the settings here, and then we can go down to the Wi-Fi. Okay, so I'm going to select on it, and we will grab it. Okay, so the, the first thing here is the, uh, the SSID. Okay, uh, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and uh, click on scan. So we click on the scan here, and basically it's listening in the airwaves of all the different uh, wireless devices that we have, okay, that are, that are in the air. So it came back, and what the one that we're going to log into is, uh, th this is my, my guest internet, by the way, but uh, anyways, uh, I chose it because I just have a simple password on that one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the apply button down there in the bottom left. Okay. So once we hit apply, that is in there. Now the next thing is, I mean, that's not good enough yet. We need to type in the password. So if we click on where it says password set, click on it, uh, this little keyboard will pop up. Okay. Now the way that uh, this works is you're going to have to, you know, it's going to be a little bit painful back in the days when we had to text without a keyboard. Uh, you know, for example, like if I, my, my very, my password here is scrappy Doo, by the way. So, um, the S, so we're going to go to the P Q R S and it's the fourth letter in there. So we're going to hit this thing four times. Okay. So one, two, three, four. So there's the S and then we move to the next letter. We go to, uh, the C, right? So that's one, two, three. And you can sort of see up here at the very top, we're starting to, to type the letters. Okay. Now, the, uh, you ha do you have other modifier keys here? Down here is your uh, uppercase. Uh, here is your delete. And then if you need to get into the numbers, you can select the numbers. If you need to get into the symbols, you can select the symbols. And to get back to the text, you can just select the text. Okay. Uh, once you are all done, you're going to go ahead and click on the OK. Uh, and again, I don't know if I brought this up. That's your backspace. So if you made a mistake, you can go ahead and do that. But uh, something that I did recognize on here is it, you do have to be a little bit quick on the keys. Otherwise, it assumes that you want that letter. So uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video here. I'll finish typing this out and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay. All right. Scrappy Doo is plugged in there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the OK. And then the, the next thing here, uh, this really doesn't mean much for, for us common folks, okay? But anyways, you are able to, to set the IP address if you are wanting to get very specific, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and hit on Apply. And uh, then it's going to go ahead and try to connect to the wireless uh, internet that I have here. Our status symbol will be up here in the gold bar, and it's going to let us know that it is connected once it finally uh, logs in and everything. Uh, notice the grayed out weight that you see right there. It will become full here uh, very shortly. Okay, so I'll pause the video here and uh, we'll show you what it looks like next. All right, so we have uh, every single thing that we need here. Uh, you can see up here in the status bar, it is now green lit up there in the top left. And uh, it says it's connected to the, uh, the name of the router that we, you know, so we're on that guest network that I told you about. And then uh, this up here, you're going to want to uh, write that down on a piece of paper uh, because that's your uh, IP address of your actual machine. And that's what we're going to need in order to have access to it inside of the program. And in uh, this video here, we are doing uh, Shortcuts a lot 5. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, Shortcuts Lot 5 uh, right now. 
All right, so we're inside Shortcut Salon 5, and now we need to make sure this, first of all, uh, that our internet on our computer, uh, our, our wireless anyway, we are actually connected on the same network uh, of our, uh, you know, of wherever our cutter is plugged in. So, uh, again, I learned my uh, cutter into the one that says uh, GVD Nation hyphen guest and I am on that network so uh, that's a must for this to work now the next thing is uh, inside shortcuts a lot five if your screen does not look like this uh, please make sure it does where we have a, a gray sky cut virtual mat if yours is, an, is any other color uh, that means you are not in the sky cut mode and if you don't know what I'm talking about please watch that video on how we can make my cutter sky cut uh, selected okay and that's that's the the very first thing that you, you need to make sure that you're doing before we hit uh, any kind of buttons up here now the next thing that we need to do is well, I'm gonna go ahead and put a generic shape on there I clicked on the library and I'm just gonna go ahead and add a heart okay uh, it doesn't matter where it doesn't matter how big I'll just go ahead and make it a little bit bigger just so we can sort, sort of see this here on the screen uh, next thing I'm going to click on cutter and now this menu appears for us and what we want to make sure is sky cut uh, is selected the tcp ip is selected okay and then uh the port okay so if we were to uh go back to the to the screen here i'm gonna go ahead and uh, and show that here so if we take a look at our control panel uh, you will see those digits at the very top 192.168.87 dot two zero zero that is identifying this cutter on our network and that's where we need to plug in the number that you see right here inside of sure cuts a lot okay now the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and click on test connection when we do that this little box appears here okay and uh, it's going to say this will attempt to move the rollers or blade a distance back and forth if it doesn't, you're going to do some troubleshooting. Okay, so I'm going to hit the OK button, and uh, you'll see very faintly on that uh, on that uh, control panel there, it did a quick quick little fade. Uh, I'll show it one more time, and then we're going to go ahead and um, zoom out here uh, so that we can see uh, the you know what what the control head is actually doing. So let's go ahead and uh, and do that here. All right, so in that view here, we're able to see. Let's go ahead and just do a quick, uh, quick test connection here, and you can you'll see that head just move very slightly, very slightly. Okay, and uh, to sort of show you uh, what we're trying to lead up to is actually cutting. And although I don't have a blade in there or anything like that, uh, you can sort of see that by hitting the cut button here. It's going to go through the motion. The mat's going to move. The head's going to move uh, in in that heart shape. Okay. Uh, I know we can't see anything because there's nothing in that holder, but I just want to let you know, hey, it did work. The test connection worked, and it did actually complete the, the simulated cut of that heart. Okay. So things to, things to think about here. Uh, again, uh, please make sure that both your computer, the router, uh, and the in your device there, you, you know your cutter, your cutter computer, and the modem there, they're all in the same network, um, because that's going to be the probably the biggest hiccup that one will see is uh, it may not be on that network. And again, you are able to ensure that you're on that network, and uh, all you have to do is just look at the the top bar here, and if you if you don't see the uh, the Wi-Fi internet, uh, all you have to do is move that move the head left or right. And you'll be able to make sure that it is connected to the right network and that IP address is correct. Okay, at that very top. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Keep on watching. We're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, move on to the next topic uh, of interest for you. Okay.